This is ancient Greece designed by Zaha Hadid. Look at those geometries curving onto each other and rising gently from the ground to give way to the iconic columns. And speaking of columns, forget Doric, Ionic and Corinthian. There's a new column in town. Imagine walking down the street where both sides are designed to be curvy, spatially magnificent and downright beautiful. Imagine Caesar getting murdered in this voluptuous flowing hall. E tu brute, but damn that ceiling. Oh shit, wait, that that was Rome. Okay, let me try that again. So let there be democracy and curves. That's ancient Greece. Saved it. To those of you wondering, no, this is not an actual project designed by Zaha Hadid. She did no such designs or renders when she was alive. These are all actually made by an AI app called Mid Journey. Mid Journey is the newest artificial intelligence app that people have been using to create some brilliant and beautiful renders, illustrations and fantasy projects. It takes in text prompts which in this case was Zaha Hadid designed ancient Greece and spits out these beautiful renders. So, how does this work? Well, back in 2016, AI was at a point where it was able to identify parts of a picture and give descriptions to what they are. For example, a tree, a cat, a bridge. It then moved on to creating sentences from these descriptive words. This was a huge leap. But now, 4 years later, people have worked to reverse this process. Now with apps like Midjourney, you can input a line of text and voila, you have a picture of it. And this picture is not just a collage from everything available on the internet. This app tries to create something unique every time, learning from the base images but never recreating them. Like let's say a cat holding a bright red umbrella vintage or Charlie Chaplin's portrait made by Pablo Picasso or an Indian temple on Mars. The feat here is that until now AI models were limited. If you required an image of a landscape it needed a huge set of landscape data and it would only work for landscape if you required cats just the same it would only work for cats but now you can literally type in anything and it will create it for you meryl streep could play batman and be the right choice she's perfection okay let's try that get emotional thinking about it so what are the broader impacts of this technology Well, it only recently opened up to a lot of people to use. Right now it is being used to create images, illustrations and these beautiful renders. So the extents to which it is being used right now is just artistic in nature. But I think it will have a bigger impact on not just creating art but also architecture. With this new powerful app, architects might initially want to experiment, create fantastic concepts. It might start with competition entries and slowly we might see some concepts come to life. Think back to how Zaha Hadid started her fire station with a painting which eventually became the building. What it will do is open up new and unprecedented study into forms, geometries and concepts. It will first start to flourish in digital spaces. Right now Mid Journey only creates 2D outcomes so these can be nice inspirations or NFTs but from these outcomes people can easily create 3D models we will see digital and 3D twins of these geometries but i believe it has the potential to go one step further it has the potential to spit out outcomes that we eventually might see built around us architecture thought up by ai i don't even know if the word thought is right here but i feel there can be a flip side to this as well slowly if it becomes open to everyone it will change the way we design we might just start designing backwards thinking of and visualizing the end result first and then going back to the initial process to fit in functions forget stuff like form follows function or function follows form once it becomes mass ready architecture might just follow I don't know text prompts there are of course a lot of things we can hypothesize but we still need to research this a bit more i will soon be making a separate video about ai and architecture and in that video we will also see how mid journey can impact the architect of the future and i don't want to just randomly think of scenarios i want to talk to people artists designers and architects about how they are using it what are the possibilities and more importantly what are the probabilities of these possibilities But for now I just wanted to bring you in this realm of AI in this realm 
of just infinite possibilities. The beginning of the age of AI. Some might even say it actually started a long time ago. Anyway, let's move away from the algorithm of mid journey to the algorithm of YouTube that responds to your likes, shares and comments. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to let me know in the comments below and follow Bless Dark for more such content. I will see you guys soon with more such videos. Until then, bye bye.